Well, I tell you what, we have an absolutely perfect Midwestern afternoon for football, and EA Sports brings you coverage of the NFL from Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd, and they're all set as they'll match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. the ground this is Joe Mixon and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four well on every play call you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four yard run on first down on second down here's Burrow throwing over the middle and it's incomplete he was looking for his favorite target AJ Green that time and that takes us from second to third down from the shotgun it's Burrow oh he almost picked it nearly a turnover there on their opening drive and that's a throw he'd like to have back now fourth down fourth down so the defense able to get off the field here on third down and it's one of the goals of the game they've got to be effective on passing downs it's one of the few things defenses chart how did we do on third down that's a nice start for them in this one punting now is huber as he sends it away Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 right at the 30. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Jones, the ball carrier. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. Rogers, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one to the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Alex Erickson deep for Cincinnati. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That 
that one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Burrow. Got an open man, that's C.J. Uzama. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. First nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Open man is Higgins. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A very solid gain of 27. Yard line. We're scoreless after one. With no score. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it with a first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He's got his man, Boyd. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. 
they should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves out that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown, Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. At the 33-yard line. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He's gonna drop this one down to Bernard. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down. Here's Burrow. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. Yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage, got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing again, it's Burrow. This pass complete to Higgins. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So now here's Burrow first down. Being chased out left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. 
He's taken down at the 17-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Now Burrow. And his pass incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator. has got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now it's Burrow. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Pass intended for A.J. Green. Incomplete. Brings up second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Again, it's Burrow. Green's open, and he's got it for the Bengal touchdown. A.J. Green as the first half is winding down. Now the Bengals, they widen their lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Nothing. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That's so we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he returns this to the 22. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. For Green Bay. Von Bell up to make the tackle. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. 
from the 27. Rodgers and able to find Alan Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Marcus Hunt able to take him down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Rodgers' throw is taken in by Jones. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 37. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. But look what we have here. A sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. Aaron Jones. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second and three at the Bengals' 30-yard line. Again, it's Jones. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals 22. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On first down, it's Jones. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Jones. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he's able to get it down to the 2-yard line. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Rodgers to throw on third and one. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. It's Devontae Adams hauling it in from Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they fake the run, pull it out, throw it. And as a defense, I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got fooled on that one. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. Makes the score Bengals 14, Packers 7.
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. The return man, Wilson. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Cincinnati set to take once again. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles. And the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. He was covered. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and ten now from the 27. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Again, he'll target Boyd, this time successful. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Mixon with a first down carry. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Mixon. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On second down, Burrow. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Give him two yards on that play. And that's going to bring up a third down. Brings up third and two. Bernard getting the handoff from Burrow. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Bernard. It's an eight-yard pickup that leads to a new set of downs. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming obviously but at this stage you have to take a few chances as well and inside the 20 before he's brought down 12 yards that time and a cincinnati first down you don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch but after that play he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear we couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half a gorgeous day one score game first and ten here mixing on the toss right and able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. On second down, here's Burrow. Flush to his right. Now he'll pull it down. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. 
They'll give it to Mixon. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And nothing there on the return. They've got the football, but they'll have to start this drive at their own four-yard line. At their own four-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. Down. That it's is a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Back to throw. And Rodgers is going to go down in the end zone. It's a safety. What a gut punch. That should be the nail in the coffin with those two points making this a two-score game now with time, Charles, clearly not on their side. Yeah, they have to give the football away as well. Had a chance. Yeah, it was a small chance to get down the field. But guess what? This one's now just about over. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Pulled in at the 24. The Bengals set to take over. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. The Bengals go down to a knee in the victory formation. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Burrow down to a knee and that should be the final act of this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. Yeah, They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Oh, we Today's final score. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown. And that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.